Wouldn't it be easier if we didn't have to worry about our cameras overheating or running out of power? I'm going to show you some power hacks that you can use to save you time and frustration while you're filming, including this new piece of kit called the Power Junkie that can run any USB power device and camera through MPF batteries. Hi, my name's Craig Sinclair. Welcome back to my channel. I'm a video producer from Edinburgh. I've been working with food brands, PR agencies, news companies uh, for the last five years. And all through that time, I've been teaching myself how to write, shoot, and edit for video. And now I'm on my own journey to try and teach you how to become a better video creator. The thing about being a video creator is you do have to work with electronic technology and power is one of those things that we need more often than not. You don't know how long shoots can be and that's why meticulous planning normally helps you to make sure that you've got enough power throughout the day that you don't have any problems. There are little camera hacks that you can add into your camera so you can record for longer because most cameras do have that camera limit but I'll make sure to include that in a new video. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do that video. <sighs> Recording limits, I remember when I used to struggle with that. But all that aside, if you can record for longer and the power is the only thing holding you back, then we can look at a couple of solutions here today. First up and most obvious is a, a USB power bank. Uh, these things are usually made for uh, mobile devices, but they are incredible these days because they can come with so much capacity. And when I talk about capacity, I mean how many milliamps, which is uh, the charge um, it holds to power other devices. Uh, I've seen some uh, USB power banks that go up to 26,000 milliamp hours, uh, which is enough to charge your typical smartphone maybe like six, seven, ten times over. So what's stopping you actually being able to plug that in to your camera and keep it recording? Absolutely nothing at all. Most cameras have a USB um, port in there that charges the battery as you're recording. Uh, which is one viable solution that I've used uh, at the Edinburgh Festival. I was recording a one hour comedy show in a really small uh, subterranean uh, basement of a building. There was no air conditioning at all. Uh, it was already a really warm day, literally standing there sweating as I'm filming this. And I get the overheating um, icon sh flashing up on my Sony camera. I also had to be able to record continuously for a whole hour. So I needed a power solution and what I ended up doing was plugging, taking a 10,000 milliamp power bank battery that I got from Amazon. I'll make sure to link it in below if you want to check it out. And literally just gaffer taping it to my tripod, connecting it to a USB. And what that did was it charged my battery as it was recording in 4K. Have you ever used your camera so long to the point where it's like, literally just about to die you swap out the battery but the battery in your hand is just super warm well that's one of the reasons that it causes overheating especially in sony cameras so if you can remove this little battery and put something cooler in there and i know some people that have actually put like keep their batteries refrigerated before putting in so then it lasts a little bit longer which doesn't work i'll need to experiment but what it what i can do is if you had a dummy battery, and a dummy battery is, hang on, a dummy battery is just this. This is just a hollowed out battery, looks exactly like the battery I put in my camera, fits inside the camera that I'm using. You can get different versions of these depending what your camera is. I've seen one for the Panasonic, I've seen one for um, Sony, and then uh, you probably get one for Canon as well. Now, because it's hollow, this isn't going to heat up as much as my proprietary battery in the Sony. So already, if I can remove what's causing the heat issue, I should be able to film longer without the heating icon coming on. And you can get dummy battery options with a USB end instead of this uh, ball end. Uh, so you can connect it to things like USB power banks and then all you need to do is find a way to attach it to your camera or attach it to your tripod. You can just hold it, you can leave it dangling. But what you want to make sure is that it's nice and secure. So that's hack number one. Use a, power, a, a USB uh, power bank and attach it to a dummy battery and, and plug it in that way. Or use a micro USB cable and plug it into your camera that way as well. And now what I'm going to do is go in a bit more about what the Power Junkie actually is and how I'm going to use it going forward and why maybe you should consider doing it as well. 
So a bit about the Power Junkie is it's made by a Glasgow company uh, called uh, Blindspot and they've made tons of gear um, that are used widely throughout the industry including scorpion lights uh, which they like to mention uh, gets frequent use in uh, the new George R.R. R. Martin series on Netflix called Night Flyers. Also being a, a Scottish based company I thought best to support them rather than giving my money to some Chinese brand and I have to say it is a nice um, solid piece of kit that I hope to get much great use out of especially doing events and long day shoots. It's got different ways to attach it, you can attach it via a hot shoe or a cold shoe, you can attach it through a quarter, uh, a quarter 20 uh, thread, you can attach it uh, via um, clip ties and things like that as well so there's tons of different ways to use this as well and real and it has an led indicator on the side so i can see how much battery it's got left which is always very handy and a feature that's very very hard to come by on other devices out there you could get the complete bundle for everything that you need to power your camera for about 90 pound that is quite a lot of money especially when considering that a usb power bank costs anything between 10 30 pound depending on the the amount of outputs that are coming out of it you can have more than one usb output on a power bank or um and just the capacity of it and like and that all depends on how long you want it to charge uh, carry on for how much time you can spend charging it that's another consideration to think of uh, but what's good about the power junkie is these things run off mpf um battery packs but they're used in uh, the filmmaking industry to pretty much charge anything i can use this to charge my lights i can use this with the power junkie to charge a monitor my camera lights uh, and i can do that because the power junkie has two outputs there and when you attach the dummy battery which plugs into my camera then i've actually got three ways uh, like I've got three options to charge three different devices. So with this, I should be able to charge my camera over six times over. The proprietary batteries that come with a Sony camera only um, film that uh, lets me film continuously for about an hour and eight minutes, and that's just a 1,200 milliamp battery. So this this will keep me going all day and then some. So what I also like about the Power Junkie is. That it also doubles up as a charger, so it's got a USB-C and a micro USB um, slot on the side that I can actually plug in to charge my MPF batteries. So as well as being a, a power plate, it's also a power charger. With the Power Junkie, it's nice and light. It's nice and solid. If I left it on my uh, desk, it's got rubber stops at the bottom here, so it's nice and grippy. Um, it will sort of when I say it's going to bulk out, it's just going to make it my camera rig look a bit awkward. But like you'll probably hear me saying from this video onward, there's no such thing as the perfect camera, which usually means you need to build a rig to suit the things you need. And as you go on, you will find ways just to um, make it the way you want to that's not going to be too flimsy or too awkward to carry. You don't actually have to just use this for camera gear either. I use this to charge my phone when I'm on the go. I use it to charge uh, my laptop sometimes, other USB devices that I might have. I can actually use it to charge um, my Sony batteries for my camera. 90 pound is still a lot to pay for the power junkie, the battery and the, uh, the dummy battery that they give with it. But that's why I want to give a mention out to Caleb from DSLR Video Shooter who actually made something pretty similar to this about three or four years ago and I'll link the video above. Essentially he uh, did a video about a, a DIY hack which just involves buying a couple of pieces off Amazon, taking it apart, soldering it together and what you can get is something that's very similar to a power junkie that uses MPF batteries that you can plug in a USB device or a, a little DC power bolt and use that in your camera. So if £90 is a bit steep and you're a bit handy or maybe you want to give uh, this DIY hack a bit of a try, uh, why not check out DSLR Video Show? He's got tons of other um, great lighting tutorials specifically and more often than not camera reviews. Without his help, I would not have known as much about cameras and got the A6300, which I now have. As I've said before in this video, there's no such thing as a perfect camera and video creators often have to adapt their kit 
in order to get the most out of it to get what they want filmed, done the way they want it to the standard they need. And that's why I've created this playlist here that you can click on and watch. It's got a couple of videos there that'll help you um, learn a bit more about like how to get the most from your cameras, the kind of things that you can bring on set that'll uh, make your life a lot more uh, streamlined, efficient, and essentially help you to be more creative.